Hey YouTube, just finished the second box of pennies for this weekend. Again, it was a more typical box this time. We had a lot more American pre-1982 copper pennies. And again, I emptied these pails before I started, so these are all the copper pennies that we had. We didn't find as many 1953 to 1979, but we'll take what we can get. Let's take a look at some of the more interesting finds, the non-copper finds. We had four uh, King George VI pennies, starting with this 1937. Now, we don't usually get a lot of uh, King George VI pennies from the 30s, but this weekend I believe we found three or four, and this is a 1937 here, so we did really good uh, in that regard. We also have a 1946, and then we have two, uh, oh, sorry, two 1946s, and then a 1947. And then wheat pennies, we found some this time. This is a really nice 1926 wheat penny. It's always good to find wheat pennies before 1940. Here we have a 1951D. And then a 1953 wheat penny. So three wheat pennies in that box. We also found four 1982 American pennies. another 2009 and then we found a one cent piece from Barbados so one foreign coin in this box alright so we're gonna have to roll all these back up again we hand sort all the pennies that we have so that will take us a while but when you're getting copper it makes the time go a lot quicker all right, so let's take a look at the copper finds here. We'll be back in a second. All right, so we really regressed back to the mean with this second box. Uh, we were well below the 61.5% that we had the first box here. And just looking through each roll, it was kind of hit or miss. We had few that was barely over 10 uh, copper pennies in the roll, but then some that were closer to 30. Um, they were the shotgun rolls, which for us are usually hit or miss anyway, so I kind of expected... Um, there to be around the 40% average that we usually get. But looking at the overall total, we had 885 copper pennies in this box, which works out to be 35.4%, uh, so not too bad. And again, with copper being at $3.49 a pound, there was $18.40 of copper in this box here. So not the best box, um, but we got some kings and wheats, so we can at least be happy with that. So again, thanks for watching, guys. That's it for the penny boxes this weekend. Uh, we'll do some more next week, and thanks for watching.